Alright, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you a pretty useful function when dealing with 3D elements in Flash. And I'm just going to show you the motion presets option and the buttons just over here. And what you get is you get two folders. You get the default presets folder, which is the presets which came with Flash. And then you've got a custom presets folder, which is currently empty which is a folder you can add your own presets in and I'll go through this later but for the moment I'll just show you the default presets. So when you open it you get a whole host of different options. Some are a bit more uh, sort of simple, some sort of a bit more complicated and they kind of utilize what the 3D tool was really meant to do. So I'm just going to make a movie clip to demonstrate some of the presets. Let's make a red ball and make it into a movie clip. Right, okay. So I'm going to go back on presets and I'm going to add a bounce in a 3D effect. So just make sure your movie clip's uh, selected and then just press apply. And you'll see right away that the animation has appeared on the timeline. And you've also got these the little green guides showing the animations on here. So I'll just press play. And you can see the animation go to work. Uh, what you can do is you can also, uh, if you so, if you go on certain keyframes in the in the tween, you can move the ball around, well, or the object, and you can actually alter the path. So what you could do is you could select a default animation, and then you could edit it at the points, and then uh, save it as a custom preset if you wanted to. So I've just, I've just moved the ball around. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this and move between. Okay, so for the next preset, I'm just going to make some text. I'll just make some gibberish, doesn't matter what it is. Okay, so I'm going to make this into movie clip again and then I'm going to go back on and I'm going to add the text scroll 3D just like just like the one that's using the Star Wars films so apply and you've got the same effect I'll just extend this a bit so yeah you've pretty much got the same effect recreated pretty easily. Okay, so I'll just delete that. Oops. Okay, now that we've looked at a couple of the default presets, it's time for me to make a custom animation and then I'm going to save it into the custom preset folder. So I'm just going to bring back the red ball I'm going to go onto the 3D tool and then I'm going to make motion tween, extend it a little bit to about 60 so you get about 2 seconds. I'm just working at 30 frames per second by the way. And then I'm just going to just rotate it like this. Pretty simple, yeah, but it does a trick. Okay, so now that you've done this, just make sure that the tween is selected, go back on this, click custom presets, and then just click this button here, save selection as preset. Give it a name, and then press OK. So now we've got and successfully saved the preset into the custom presets folder. So now I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to make a new object. I'll just make a green rectangle. Movie clip again. And I'm just going to go to uh, the preset I made before in the custom presets folder. Press apply. And there we go. So yeah, you can apply this to more complicated animations and it's a real time saver, so it's really useful. 
and I'd also advise if you have a bit of time to go through the default presets in a bit more detail because especially if you're new to the 3D tool uh, a lot of these can teach you uh, some of the basic animation paths and so it's just really useful as well if you want to learn some of the techniques so I hope you found this tutorial useful if you want to see more like this please subscribe